Hey everyone, it is Vian from Mountain Road here and as you can see I am on the treadmill in my pain cave today and we're going to talk about running on Zwift. I want to show to you a very simple solution. If you want to get started with running on Zwift, then uh, this video is going to be for you. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about a very simple app called the Treadmill Smart Speed app. You can head over to the App Store, get that downloaded. It only costs $1.99 US dollar and uh, I think it is an absolute bargain for the features that you get with this particular app. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the features. Um, there are three ways in which you can use this app. I'm going to focus mostly on one of those modes. It's a treadmill mode or manual mode that this app uses to send your running speed through to the Zwift application. It can't get any simpler than that. If you do want to go into some of the other ways in which to use the app and maybe into some of the details then do check out my blog post in the description below where I go into a bit more detail. But uh, let's get into the steps and how you can use this particular app to get running on Zwift right away. Let's head over into that app. Once you've got the app downloaded onto your iPhone, you're going to essentially need a separate device to run the Zwift application on. So if you've got that Apple TV or maybe even the Apple iPad or maybe a separate phone altogether, then that is what you're going to need to use to run the Zwift application on. So once you've got that open, you can see up on my screen right now, I'm in the pairing mode and this is what you're going to have to do to essentially sync up your iPhone app with that other device in order for your iPhone to send your run speed through to the Zwift application. So I'm going to just go into that Zwift um, run speed screen and what you can see up on my up on the device right now is the iPhone as being the source for the speed. So if I now go into my app, there's a treadmill speed or the manual mode is what I like to call it. Um, the mode that I like to use because this now gives you six predefined speeds that you can select from. And once you hit that button, that's essentially the speed that's going to go through over into the Zwift application. Let's check it out. If I now hit 4.8 kilometers per hour, you can see up on my screen, that is the speed signal that Zwift is receiving from this app. I can go into any of my other modes. I can have a, a 12 kilometers per hour or a five minutes per kilometer pace that is being projected up there now. I've also got another one here, 13.3, 15, 70.1 you get the picture each time I hit one of those buttons that is the speed as being sent through to Zwift and uh, Essentially what speed your avatar is going to move at in the game So now let's switch over and you can see how to actually use this while the treadmill is running um, As we go through the game itself just a quick side note I do want to mention that you can also Pre-select whatever speed settings you like to program into the app. If you don't like those defaults that come with the app, you can very easily change that. I'm going to go into that speed dial at the top and note now when I select any one of those boxes, I have the option to change the speed that I want to program into that particular field. So I'm going to keep one of mine set actually at 4.8. Another pro tip that I want to um, suggest is that you select at one of your options at least as a zero. That means that when you want to bring your avatar to a complete stop, you've got the option to just hit zero and stop altogether. Then my other zones I've actually pre-selected uh, pre um, at a setting that allows me to run at one of my regular workout paces. So if you have a particular pace that you like to train at, select one of those boxes as one of those training paces and it's just so much quicker to hit that button and get started. All right, so now that we're launched into the application, you can see that I'm actually moving and I'm going to bump up my treadmill speed, you can see, to a 4.8 kilometers per hour pace. So a nice walking pace to me, but you can see my avatar is uh, currently standing still. I need it to get to get moving as well. And this is where I can now simply click on that walking pace that I have built into one of my pre-programmed controls. and. Off I go. My avatar is moving along at the same pace that the app is sending through 
to the Zwift application. So now it becomes a case of matching up the speed that you're sending through to the application with what your treadmill is reading at that particular time. So let's, let's test it out. I'm gonna bump up the speed to a five kilometers per hour pace and now I can use those 0.1 increments and bump up my speed on the app and that's ultimately what gets sent through to the Zwift application. Let's continue along that trend and see if we can bump it up to a few extra paces from here on out. I'm going to go to one of my favorite workout zones, that 5 minutes per kilometer pace or 12 kilometers per hour pace. Let's see how the app responds to that. Now, a pro tip. I like to set my treadmill speed first and then only send through the speed to the game. I feel that way. I'm not cheating the system, I'm actually running at that pace before I send the speed through to the application. So here we go, bumping it up, I'm going to get it up to that 12 kilometers per hour pace. I'm running at that speed, but now let's get the avatar at that speed as well. 12, and off I go. <laughs> as easy as that, it can't get any simpler. Alright, let's back it back down, I'm going to bring it back to that walking pace. And now you can see why it's very handy to have those pre-programmed buttons already set to bring my avatar right back. I'm going to first adjust my treadmill. It goes down to my walking speed. I hit the walking speed on the app and it slows right back down. And now you can also see why another pro tip would be to set one of your buttons as a complete zero speed. I like to use that because now I can simply push the zero button and bring my avatar to a complete stop right away. And there you have it. It is as simple as that. If you want to get going with running on Zwift, I really think that there is no simpler solution than the Treadmill Smart Speed app. Download it right now. No sensors required. I think that is the biggest benefit of this particular app. You don't have to buy any foot pods or any other speed sensors to get running on Zwift right away. A simple iPhone app along with your other device that can run the Zwift application and you are good to go. So that's it from my side. I am Vion from Mountain Road Ride. Until next time, I hope you enjoy your indoor training just a little bit more. And hey, now maybe you have the option to throw in running as well. Until next time, see you then.